please hope you're all doing well. Blesh Lily here with another pick a card reading. And in this one, I'm going to be taking a look whether you should wait and hold on or you should simply move on. We are talking about love, relationships, romances, potential romances, okay? So in this pick a card reading, you guys will be getting an answer of, you know, whether you guys should be holding on and waiting and sort of maybe trying a little bit longer or just simply letting go and moving on. That being said, guys, remember that this is a general reading, so only take what is going to resonate with you, leave the rest out on the table. So for today's reading, have a three options. Option number one with the green aventurine over here. Option number two has pink quartz. And option number three has the green malachite crystal over here. So go ahead and take a deep centering breath in, make space for this reading, see which crystal or which option you're mostly drawn to. If you need a bit more time, pause the video because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. I'm Alalis, so if you're drawn to pan number one with the green adventure, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. Should you stay? Should you go? Should you give it another chance? All right, let's start with your tarot cards first. Okay, so it starts with the Six of Swords. We then have the lovely Knight of Cups and we have the Moon. So some of you guys, it could be Pisces. I am seeing some of you could be Cancer, Scorpio as well. And we have uh, some Libra, Gemini and Aquarius coming through very, very strongly. What I'm seeing, guys, is that you are going to be seeing the truth of the matter. You guys are going to be seeing the subconscious reasons for why you were... Um, holding on to something there is a lot of love but what i'm seeing is that you guys i am seeing that it's time to um go to be honest we're going to be taking a look at the other cards but even from just this a three i'm seeing that you guys will understand that you deserve so much more and you deserve so much better and it might sound a little bit cheesy but it's the truth because with the moon in reverse, it's all, it's all about letting go of your fears. It's all letting go about illusions. It's all about seeing what the truth is. And I feel that there's going to be a strong revelation, okay? And it's probably going to come from your subconscious. It's something that you already know, but might have been hiding from yourself, you know? It could be one of the fears that has been very deeply planted within you that has to do with relationships and being um sort of afraid of being by yourself or you know having those um, fears that are telling you you know you're too old or too young or to this or to that or you know like there's nobody else there's history but the truth is to be honest with you it's already telling me that there's going to be somebody else um okay but i feel like yeah for you it's for, from the tarot it's it's more of like on the go cards and um, on the go energy but the thing is i feel like guys you've been sort of you haven't been feeling good to be honest we have higher powers some of you guys could be life path number four life path number one five or six okay we have new life some of you guys could be 39 and 13 fork in the road okay so you might guys might have been seeing a lot of number 13 um okay lately or 39 there it's indicating that there's this decision that you need to make that you really need to make a decision i feel it could be that you're deciding between two people or two places okay um there's another thing that i'm seeing that you might have been thinking about you know having a child quite possibly with this person you know if having a child with this person will change anything you know or maybe you wanted to have a child with this person you envisioned it um but to be honest with you what i'm seeing is it's time to go with the six of swords with the higher power it's almost like the higher power and we have the moon there's a lot of energy within you that's feminine and you guys have been getting a lot of messages okay whether it's from the spirit whether it's from like other people whether it's just from like i'm seeing that there has been communication and you've been just like going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. But what the energy is here is that, yeah, it's time to move on. It's time to get a new... Um 
yeah new life new life is all about moving on new life is all about you know sort of waking up and going like oh my god why did i stay in that situation for so long we have the garden and the gate being in reverse which is all about letting go of what you know letting go of what has been comfortable for you for a very long time and tied up also came up in reverse guys so this is a very good energy of you know you yourself are setting yourself free okay there's a lot to do with self and i am seeing that it could be somebody from your past as well for quite a few of you i'm feeling that you know somebody from your past somebody you've spent a lot of time with but somebody who just made you feel tied up without you realizing that they did it sneaky sneaky okay um okay for some of you it's all about security so you know you have been feeling secured you have been feeling like you know you sort of have this nice garden but you keep looking out there like what is out there what else does life have to offer for me so maybe some of you guys you married young or maybe you guys were in an arranged marriage or are in an arranged marriage okay and you're like um is there something better for me okay and it's almost like you felt this tied up but it's leaving the energy is leaving and with the six of swords it's all about movement it's all about relocation okay but in this sense i'm seeing well actually for some of you it could be about relocating to a specific country but i am seeing it's more like leaving the this this energy of feeling tied up, this energy of feeling like something is holding you back. Some of you guys could be Libras, okay? I know that, I'm, and I'm not, I don't know if that's true, guys, but I heard Libras can sometimes be a little bit stuck in making their decisions, you know, like analysis is paralysis, okay? Because they keep weighing the two options, they keep weighing the two options. And what I'm seeing is, whatever it is, justice will prevail and i am seeing that there's going to be a win-win outcome but what it what matters it's definitely going to be a win outcome for you i am definitely seeing that you know it's time to go it's time to take um definitely take take the the matters into your own hand hands and just sort of let things go my lovelies so yes if you were drawn to pan number one um with all of the energy that i'm seeing okay they're saying don't be afraid it's gonna be fine it's gonna be much better than you imagined you deserve that new life and just the whole outcome the whole outlook of life is going to change there's something better for you there's something waiting for you just around the corner all right my lovelies so that's all i have for pile number one i hope you enjoyed this reading hope it resonated if you'd like a personal reading that's going to be tailored specifically to your situation you can always email me my emails in the description box below all right my lovelies take good care of your beautiful selves now bye all right my dears so if you're drawn to pile number two with the pink cord let's go ahead and take a look whether you should stay you should go whether you should hold on or release this energy this person this situation shit, this relationship but yeah let's start with your tarot cards first okay so we have the eight of wands being upright we have the four of cups in reverse wow and we have the ace of swords guys this is brilliant because right now even from the tarot cards i'm seeing that things are going to be picking up um i feel like you guys have been struggling a lot with this situation i don't know i keep calling wanting to call it situationship maybe it's because like yeah you sort of been stuck in between okay and you sort of been feeling a bit melancholic like i don't know what i want i don't know whether i want this i don't know whether i don't want this i don't know what's going on and it's almost like nothing has been happening for a while but the good part is guys whoever chose this pile i am seeing things are really going to be picking up and there is going to be so much clarity so much victory so much understanding of what you truly truly want let's take a look at the other cards to get a little bit of an explanation what you guys should be doing 
Mm, yeah hello regeneration i feel like that there are loads of things happening sort of behind the scenes at the moment yeah you guys are in between worlds and we have the yin oh this is gorgeous so i feel um a lot of feminine energy in this pile doesn't matter if you're male or female but what i'm seeing is that we have regeneration going on and that's why you're sort of in that indecisive state because you can only know what you want or, or attract what you want when you know what you want and you can only know what you want when you know who you are and there's a big big change going on within you on a deeper level that is sort of destroying a lot of old beliefs and that's why it's going to give you clarity i feel a lot of you guys might be coming up from the dark night of the soul a lot of you guys could be 46 32 or 23 years of age okay and that's why we have between the worlds now guys between the worlds i want to show you this beautiful card i'm seeing this gorgeous bird that was stuck in that gray area i feel a lot of you might have been gone through depression anxiety apathy lethargy but you see you've got this beautiful um crown over here and you have the hummingbird as well so maybe hummingbirds uh, or just birds in general you know are your spirit guides or you have been hearing and seeing a lot of birds okay i know there's a lot of birds in in my background okay and that could be a sign as well uh because what i'm seeing guys is that what you need to do right now is absolutely nothing with the yin over here i'm seeing that you guys just need to let things happen there are things are you know this is divinely guided divinely orchestrated and um you need to trust the universe on this one because there's a lot of healing regeneration and beautiful things going on sort of on your subconscious and also on higher higher realms there's also financial healing being indicated okay and with i just want you to see how um similar these two cards are even though they're from different decks but what i'm seeing is that you know there might be some issues with finances as well that need to um be addressed right now but i want you to see that after this regeneration instead of you know like this soil that seemed to be uh you know infertile that soil that seemed to be um, actually some of you guys have, might have been asking about a baby as well okay um i'm seeing that yeah there's quite possibly going to be a child or another child uh for you know whoever been asking but you know what i'm seeing is that whatever is a sort of whatever seemed dead is actually going to blow blossom and bloom seriously because we have the caring connections i'm loving this this is going to happen guys this is definitely going to happen and we have the strategy strategy for a lot of you i'm seeing that um it's more to do with financial things but strategy for some of you um uh, for majority of you actually i am seeing like this is either signing um a contract like a marriage contract you know or um that has something to do with career but will still end up being romance okay but what the answer is to your question you know whether you should stay or you should go i am definitely seeing that you should stay and let things happen don't destroy anything just yet because everything is falling away um and it seems for you it's just like what is going on and maybe you have been going through this period of regeneration for quite some time okay and you're just like oh this is taking forever it's like been up to eight years for some of you guys and seeing but the thing is that going to be it's going to be changing and i want you to know that your financial um energy is very very much closely linked to your love energy as well so i am seeing a drastic improvement in both and those caring connections that once you thought were just sort of gone away or whatever they're going to sort of come back so you guys need to stay but don't force things let things happen because you guys need to receive i feel like you guys have been giving 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 
and you're sort of in between worlds um even though this card is showing uh, the flamingo being split in the middle i feel that you guys are mostly done i feel like you guys are going to breathe out a sigh of relief pretty pretty soon okay and with that strategy i am seeing that it has a lot to do with writing a journaling manifesting but it's almost like you guys have done enough and now you just need to let the universe do its thing you need to let your subconscious do its thing give it a little bit more time so your answer is yes definitely stay and just just be just be just wait for the for the tree to become healthy again just wait for the tree to get green again so for a lot of you this is a timeless reading but i am feeling a very strong energy of you know spring um months uh very very sh coming through very strongly okay march april may but like i said it's it's a general reading so if those months don't resonate with you it's okay i would say you know give it about two to three months and you're going to see there's going to be a lot of blossoming and blooming okay so it's like in between war but you need to that's the one thing uh, male or female you're being asked to um adopt more of a divine feminine energy where you're more receptive you're more um perceptive you know you're more open and you just let things um happen you know you let things appear uh, sort of appear in your life and you welcome them and you see things bloom bloom some bloom so yeah there's going to be needed patience a little bit of patience is needed in this one but definitely this one for me guys from the energy that i'm seeing it's a stay uh you know um it's going to go so definitely hold on to whatever it is okay but don't hold on tightly and don't hold on actively if that makes sense just just hold on don't discard it just yet but just let things happen all right all of these, so that's all i have for pile number two i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated with you please like share and subscribe make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos if you would like a personal reading you can always email me my email is in the description box below all right, my lovelies, and take good care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. All right, my dears, so if you're drawn into pile number three with the Malachite, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards, whether you should go or you should stay, whether you should hold on or move on. And we're going to start with your tarot cards at first. Okay, so we have the two of wands. Yeah, I feel like you guys are choosing between a two or more things i feel like you guys are really trying to get a, take a take a look at the uh, bigger picture um i'm seeing that there's a lot of wisdom within you wow okay so we have the nine of cups which is of cup are coming true um i feel like you guys yeah i feel like you guys are a bit more of an old soul and with the knight of swords i see that you guys are ready and you're roaring um and to be honest with you yeah yeah you guys are definitely i'm i'm very very happy to see those three cards because what i'm seeing guys is that you are making a decision from a healthy place not a place of fear not a place of um manipulation but a place of really thinking what's going to be best for you and seriously I'm, I'm going to clap for you because that's a really healthy and brilliant approach okay i'm so so proud of you guys and what i'm seeing is that yeah you're you're sort of looking at the whole situation from you know getting a bigger picture and with you're going to be really happy with the outcome because you are looking at what is best for you you are looking at what is going to help you manifest your dreams okay what is um sort of yeah what 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 direction to take because you guys are like ready you guys are really really ready um chaos and conflict yeah so might um some of you guys might be 33 or 23 we have flexible and we have by the book yeah i feel like there was um definitely a lot of uh energy of somebody trying to be somebody and they're not a uh, sort of a wolf in sheep skin energy coming through very very strongly uh, there was a lot of conflict there still is i feel like they might be not talking at the moment but whatever it is it's just it was chaos it was it was it was conflict and you're sort of there like okay so what has this taught me what has this 
made me think because I feel like it's either you guys are quite flexible or you couldn't be flexible in the sense that you know this by the book um, you guys could have been in a very rigid place rigid family rigid surroundings where you couldn't like nobody was able to be flexible it was either my way or the highway and and right now you're trying to see you know is this um is this going to change are they going to be flexible or is this just going to go on the way that it has been for like a very long time i feel quite a few guys are on a twin flame journey whoever picked this pile um i'm hearing i don't know what it is with the names now i'm hearing josh i'm hearing Raj, rajesh raja um very strong i'm hearing sarah um somebody with the um whose name starts with the gu it is the gupta or gupka or or something along those lines sorry if i'm butchering those names guys uh, and then there's a very strong there's also isabella uh, but what i'm seeing is that guys um the outcome is entirely up to you but i feel that you guys are going to go because you are not able to express yourself fully with the fifth uh, angel uh, with the fifth chakra archangel gabriel being in reverse i'm seeing that you guys aren't being given the yeah, you guys could be like in your 30s, 33, 39, maybe even like your 40s. I feel like you have been told to shush most of your life, you know, like to be quiet or that your opinion didn't matter. You know, it was a very, very strong, like male presence, almost, almost like a dictatorship. And you're like, okay, well, no, and it's time for courage. It really is time for courage. And there's something deep within you is just that it's just saying enough, really, really enough. And I feel like some of you guys could be Libra because we have the contract here as well. And you weighing things like all the pros, pros and all the cons. And like I said, it's very good that you're coming from a place that you want to make sure that you're uh wishes come true as well and if you're not heard then you know if you're not hearing yourself even then who's going to make your wishes come true uh so i feel like with the by the book and nobody wants to be flexible it's time for you guys uh, to be courageous and with that um knight of swords i feel like you guys are going to go towards your dreams i feel like most of you with the chaos and conflict you're going to see people for what they truly are but what's most important you're going to see what it is that you truly want what you truly desire and that's a good thing that this chaos and conflict came because that's exactly what you needed to see like if this is okay with you if this is not okay with you some of you guys could be leo um but i feel like it's almost like somebody put out your fire again your <clears throat> fifth chakra your throat chakra um was blocked for a very long time and now you're finally finding your voice and i feel for lots of you it's, it's time to go guys it really is time to go the situationship situationship this relationship this potential relationship this love uh in love interest i feel that it's just time to go it has run its course and you realize that you know um maybe this person is very similar to your father or very similar to your mother okay and you're like uh do i want to have a repeat of my childhood and most of you will sort of decide against it mm, so i am sensing a very strong energy you know that in this pile it's time to go it's time to let it go it's time to release it it's time to be i'm getting a lot of growing up here as well a lot of growing up a lot of seeing things for what they actually are you know and how you've been sort of blindly following going by the book going by the book whereas nobody's been really flexible with you and now it's time to let that inner lion or that light inner lioness 
you know, uh, come, come roaring and say, you know what? No, I'm not going to, you know, just blindly follow anybody. I'm not going to, you know, uh, pretend that I'm somebody I'm not. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with being quiet. I'm not okay with, you know, you just telling me like, oh, it's you, it's whatever. Your opinion doesn't matter. Okay, I'm not okay with it. And I feel like you guys are like, again, with that knight of swords, you're cutting the cords and you're going like, bye, bye, boy or bye bye girl um you know this is not for me and i feel like this is going to be a healing a very much healing because you're cutting off a lot of energy from your past as well um uh, which is going to benefit you again in relationships that are going to come all right my lovelies so that's all i have for power number three i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated with you and gave you the clarity that you needed if you'd like a personal reading you can always email me my email is in the description box below please don't don't forget to like share subscribe to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos okay and yeah take good care of your beautiful selves now bye guys